Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing okay. It's a nice lovely October morning. So today what we're going to do is fit a spare wheel on our uh, Mova Vetta. I mean when we bought the Mova Vetta they said there were like a repair kit. There's no spare wheel but there's a repair kit. Anyway we never found the repair kit. It did, does come with um, a toolbox where you get your jack and your brace and all that. But there were no like emergency re kit, repair kit. But anyway, we'd sooner have a, a proper spare wheel. We'd sooner do it the old-fashioned way. So, because um, a, a repair kit will only, it might repair a, a minor puncture. But if you have a blow or anything like that, well, you've blown it. So, um, <clears throat> but it, at first I thought, oh, it's a bit daunting, you know. We'll have to take it to a garage and you know get it professionally fitted and all that. But when when I looked into it. It doesn't seem that complicated. I mean, as long as you've got all the parts and that, um, and you've got the correct wheel, correct size, and the the centres for the the studs all match up, then uh, and it should be fine. So this is a spare wheel we've purchased, it, and we've also got the carrier, an extra bracket, and some bolts. Uh, the tyre. Is part worn, but when you look at it, I mean the quality of the tire, how much treads on there, it's you know it's virtually new. Um, I'm not sure if the the rims second hand, but even that looks in you know good condition. And that I'll turn it round for you. So that's uh, that's all good. Or if you're looking for a, a spare wheel and a carrier and that, I give them a try. Right, so let's get down to business. Uh, where the carriage is going to go, it's going to fit on this part here, this member, and these are the, the oars, what a pre drill, what I told you about. So that's what you need to be looking for to see if you've got your pre drilled oars. Uh, there's also uh, a bracket what fits onto this part here, that's already drilled out. And I do believe there's another part what fits up here, what helps support the wheel. And that's also pre-drilled as well, all ready to go. I thought we are going to have to jack the van up, or I put it on the ramps. But at the moment, uh, there seems to be quite a bit of room under here. So I'm going to attempt to do it without, you know, jacking it up. Just be a bit easier, a bit safer. When you purchase the kit, you get a bag of bolts. There's probably about a dozen in there. Uh, and they're... Uh, the socket it's a 30mm so you want a 13mm socket and then right so let me have a look that goes up like that and that goes like that so you, you line your bracket up with your, your holes and start putting your, your bolts in so I'll probably like finger tight to start with out four in right so that's the four in we'll tighten them up now with the socket go around all the four just making sure that they're nice and tight yeah that feels good I'm sorted. The bolts for this assembly, they didn't supply those, so I've had to buy these as an additional. Um, and what I did, I measured it, and I measured it about 90 mil. So as long as they're like a minimum of 90, <coughs> 900 mil will suit you fine. So it's a case of um, sliding that up, aligning it with the all, shoving the the bolt through, it should pop out at the end, that's good, and that allows you to get your nut on. Yeah, the 90mm is just long enough, probably 100 would be better to be fair, but they're, they're quite fine. And that's one, <coughs> there's three of these in total. I think I said there were, there were three um, bolts to fasten this on, but it's actually two and not three. 
But what you'll need with this one is a, a socket and a, a spanner so you can get one on either side to tighten them up with. Yeah, so you'll need a socket on one end and a, a spanner on the other to tighten these two up. <coughs> yeah, just give it a, a check, make sure they're nice and tight. <coughs> give it the famous waggle. Oh yeah, that's rock solid, that, that's going nowhere. So that allows you to put your, your brace on there uh, and that lowers the, the carriage up and down. Right, now the next bit is there's another bracket which goes over on this bit here and that is to, I think that's more just to support the wheel to stabilise it a bit. So we'll get that clamped on. So this is the, the wheel support bracket. So we need another one of these nuts, what this provided. <coughs> the hole's just there. So I'll just line that up. Same again, screw it in as far as we can. And then, it's going in quite a long way. And then we'll tighten it up on the, on the socket. seems tight enough. Right so the next bit is to lower this and we'll uh, get the wheel in place. This is a tool kit that came with the motor home. So inside here you've got your, your jack, your wheel brace, the eye for you know if you get a breakdown and you attach that on the where the front bumper is so you can attach your tow rope to. Uh, that's the piece we want. And what you do with this is <coughs> if you can see that <coughs> it attaches onto that bit there and then you'll need a you suck it again but this time a, a 21 mil socket uh, and then we'll start turning that and hopefully it should start coming down just like that So we'll wind that down to the bottom and then look at attaching the wheel to it. So it goes. <coughs> so that goes. Drop. Drop through the centre of the hole in the wheel. Yep. Not as bad as. Once you're underneath, it's not as bad as you think. And set that. Um, then, as I say, that screws back on. It's just a bit fiddly, but you've got a bit of patience. <coughs> Not be as nice if it's inside the remote away or it's throwing it down the rain. <coughs> But these jobs have got to be done. <laughs> so that's finger tight. There is a, a nut on the top, so I'm just going to tweak it just that a little bit more, but I don't want to over tighten it because it's like got a plastic head on it and um, last thing I want to do is bust it. So I've got me uh, socket on it now I'm just turning it up a bit as I say I don't want to go mad as long as I'm comfortable that it's tight you know. <laughs> right so then the next stage is to wind it back up. So that's it all ready to go up just make sure that that is on that side and not twisted round because as you can see it goes into there 
So the last thing you want is that to be twisted, so just make sure you've got that on the right side, which is like that. Uh, and now we'll wind it up. So as I said earlier, you want a 20, 21 mil socket to do the winding up part. So I'm just sending it up now, just keeping an eye on it, making sure it's all going up correctly, nothing's cable's not twisted or anything like that. That's it. You feel it like click into place and then when you see it judder and click into place then it's like it's rock tight now, it won't move. So we'll have a look see if how firm it feels. So that's it, all done. That's how you fit a spare wheel to your, your motorhome. Uh, I hope this vlog helps you, uh, gives you some idea, you know, how easy or how hard it is. Uh, if you're thinking of having a go yourself, I recommend it because, I mean, I've done it, so you should be, <laughs> you should be fine. Uh, as long as you get the proper carriage and the, the right size wheel and all that, as I said earlier, um, you know, it'll it'll be fine.